Influential and innovative artist Sid Solomon, 1917 through 2004, described himself as an abstract impressionist because his work infused the experience, in Emerson's words, of being embosomed in nature into the processes, scale, and concepts of abstract expressionism. This exhibition presents a unique collection of works spanning from the 1950s to the early 1990s. The paintings reflect the artist's fascination with light and color, while also demonstrating his signature technique of saving areas of the painting from sprays of color with a resist, thus creating many windows, as the artists like to describe them, windows into the layers of previous applications. Research in the now organized Solomon Archive has found that this unique perspective is directly related to his orientation as a young aerial camoufleur in World War II. In the earliest days of the Normandy invasion, Solomon was charged with hiding troops and supplies on the ground from being spotted by the enemy's aerial attack from above. This matrix of memory and innovation the combining of a technical with a crucial, even emotional task is at the heart of Solomon's deeper motivation. The archive also revealed his skill as an accomplished graphic artist with refined typographic skills. Solomon learned these skills in high school and used them to make a living thereafter. Like his closest colleague, artist James Brooks, the influence of the ability in lettering and calligraphy is the significant factor in Solomon's brushwork. It generated the incredible finesse of his lines and marks, as well as the confidence to take freedoms with the more spontaneous aspects of expressionist mark making. It is from the above motifs that Concealed and Revealed was organized. About his work, Solomon writes, Watching the perpetual duel between the spontaneous and the deliberate in my work has made me more restless than ever. My needs to find even more individual techniques were urged on by this restlessness. My calling on dark, even black grounds grew more steadily and not from mere caprice. It is a fierce uneasiness. I want to make expansive rough edged symbols without the weight of heroics of thick impostos. Like lifting a veil, I want to draw light out of a dark mass, just as day is drawn from night.